happy Friday! <laughs> <laughs> and we're back home and we're in the van. We are. But we've just stepped foot in the van, we're still on our drive. Um, and we thought we'd put the heating on as we're plugged into the garage. However, we seem to have um, no power. So we press the gas, it goes blue. Obviously it's not going to go orange because we haven't got it switched on. But then nothing happens when we do the electric same on the water side so we've just been on the auto trail expedition facebook group which is really good and um other people have had this problem as well so we think it's a fuse we think it's a fuse yeah so we're gonna have a look now aren't we yep let's get to it so we've moved the table and tracy is gonna go into the cupboard right and there are no lights. Yes. So we've seen where someone's posted on the Facebook group. So we should have two lights on the orange and green, which we haven't. So I think it says this one here, top third long fuse. It says heater fan. And just double check there's nothing else there that we need to worry about. So this is our sergeant unit and both the heater and the charger light are off and all the fuses are up and even when we flick that down to reset it nothing happens and our test button is quite loose there's no sort of pressure to it right testing with a coffee grinder so the garage is on make sure it's not this end so that's plugged in switched on and uh ah, yes so the plug works yeah so, so that's that bit to take. so now electrical hookup mountaineering yeah. we're going to make sure that it hasn't actually slipped out of the socket so we've just driven the van forward in the drive just to check um that the hookup was inserted correctly which it is mm -hmm. so that rules out that so tracy now has changed the uh, fuse to the plug so we'll do the coffee grinder test <laughs> <laughs> yeah. electrical emergency needs wine <laughs> yeah we thought we'd have a glass of wine to help us think <laughs> <laughs> pour in the thinking juice <laughs> there we go my love you take the bigger one ah oh, thank you there you go cheers cheers so we've just discovered we've um, just plugged something into the 230 volt socket and we don't have power. So um, we have no electrical power at all. So we're off the solar at the minute. So that was a good test. Tress is going back in the cupboard. Do you want me to pass me your phone and I'll take a picture of this? So, so far we've tested that we haven't got any power to the 230 volt sockets and on our sergeant unit here we've checked that these buttons are both push, pushed in which they are and then we've checked the circuit oh, not that one this one the circuit breakers and they're all up so we'll have to drink some more wine do some more thinking yeah but we have put a little um question on the um expedition auto trail facebook group um so hopefully someone might have an an idea <laughs> do you want to wind down there no that's right i'll sit up yeah i'll just put this on so it'll stay safe <laughs> i'm not i'm not you're not filming me getting up <laughs> <laughs> here she goes <laughs> If it gets desperate, I've got my pliers. Yeah, special pliers are out. <laughs> Tracy means business. <laughs> as long as I know which switch to pull, a fuse to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my love. Frustrating. <laughs> yes. The cable saga continues. It continues. <laughs> it's the next day. We didn't solve anything last night. However... Well, no, we, we did get to a potential set of solutions yes so we've gone through everything 
Um, we've tested the plug in our garage on the drive. Um, that's all good. Yep. Tracy's changed the fuse and the plug cable. Yes. That's all good. Yes. Um, so there's one of two options. It's either our cable or yep. it's the actual sergeant unit. Yeah. But the good news is when I came in just now, the 12 volt was charging. Yes, but it's not powered. So no. it's charging through the solar. Yes, but the, it's important the leisure battery is charging. So, yes. so there's some question about whether it was this morning. So it, it's obviously enough solar for it to charge. So it proves the 12 volt side of things is okay. So yeah. it's the 230 volt that we need to sort out. Yes. Um, so my brother's given us his cable. So we're just going to pull the fan forward on the drive, plug that one in, and fingers crossed, it is the cable. Yes. Right. Shall right. We Let's we get to it. So our final conclusion so far is, one, our sergeant supply unit is faulty and there's no power going to it, as none of the fuses had tripped, or two, our shore hookup cable was faulty. When we went to collect Daz's cable, he showed us his sergeant unit and he removed the front cover, which was interesting to see how it was wired inside. So cable number two is in. Fingers crossed it's our cable. <laughs> Oh yes! So it was our cable. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, what, Let's... A, what a relief. Oh. Yay! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Thank you, Daz. That is a relief. So at least we know it's it's gonna be nothing expensive, so it's not the sergeant unit. We've found the cause. So now what we're gonna do is test with Darren's cable our extension bit on the end to see if it's the extension or our actual long cable yeah so that's that's the plug that goes to the socket that goes to the hookup yeah yeah so um so we'll try we've got two neither yeah. worked yesterday so if neither work we know it's either the cable or one of those but anyway yeah. let's just check our tails let's check our tails yeah. so i'm gonna unplug this one so that's all good so this is that's definitely working yeah. so if it's the, both of these then it means it's not the cable it means it's these <laughs> which is even cheaper okay we'll see right yeah. get the right end in bear in mind our cable was brand new when we got the van but i mean it could be anything from a loose wire inside you don't know eh? right that's that. on do you want to go and switch it on and i shall go check that one works trace okay right so it's not our tail Try the other tail. Yep. So we've just tested both our tails and they both work with Darren's cable. So the problem was our cable, which is good news in a way, yeah. but. A little annoying as it's brand new. Yes, yeah, so a little annoying because it's new. But, hey. but I'm pleased we've solved it. And thanks, Daz, for the cable. <laughs> right, so to finish this video, we thought we'd just uh, run through some of our learning from this. Uh, <laughs> this episode yes. and we've learned quite a lot yes, which is a good thing yeah and i think the first thing is we're really pleased it's a relatively simple solution to what appeared to at first to be a very complex problem and uh, i suppose it forced us to think about how the sergeant unit works, works yeah and the difference between the 12 volt systems that run off the leisure battery and are charged from the pv and the 240 yeah. 30 volt system yeah uh, and when we started, made the mistake of looking at fuses on the 12 volt system. Yeah. Whereas in actual fact, it's, it's similar to a domestic uh, electrical setup, setup yeah. where yeah. you have a, uh, a main switch, um, an RCD, and then you have the mini circuit breakers, the MCBs yeah. for the different circuits. Because the, the 230 volt circuit breaker was the second thing we looked at, yeah. and it should have been the first thing because yeah. we knew we had 12 volt, because we had the lights on in the van, and it was literally the shore power we didn't have. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But it forced us to think about these things in a logical way. It uh, ensured that we at least learnt about the sergeant unit. Uh, one of the things that we hadn't appreciated was the manufacturer recommend that when you hook up, you hook up with the RCD switched off. Yeah. And then once you're hooked up, turn it back on again. And so if there's any issues or polarity issues, it will of course trip, which looks after the van. So yeah. And we've never done that before. No, we, we didn't. We didn't know. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Yeah, so that's been very useful. That's it, I think, isn't it? <laughs> I think that's enough excitement. <laughs> oh, 
Don't forget. Oh yes. So why we've been problem solving? <laughs> we solved another problem. No, we didn't know we had. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know whether it's just the sixty-eight expeditions or the other ones, but our bathroom didn't come with a a plug for the shower tray. For the shower tray. Um, and sometimes when we're driving, we'd get the grey water smell. So. We've got a plug <laughs> just from the local hardware sh uh, shop but so far it seems to be working all right doesn't it yes absolutely yeah so we'll we'll let you know how that goes once we start driving again yeah <laughs> so thanks for taking the time to watch this video i know it's a bit boring but um we thought we'd share the little problems we had see you later take care all bye for now bye